वेलकम गाइस टू अ डिटेल एनालिसिस ऑफ दिस ईयर नीट पीजी 2024 एंड दिस वुड नॉट ओनली हेल्प दोस हु हैव गिवन द नीट पीजी बट आल्सो द फ्यूचर एस्पिरेंट्स ऑफ नीट पीजी दैट इज नीट पीजी 2025 और आफ्टर दैट ऑनवर्ड्स बिफोर डाइविंग इनटू द टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू ड्रॉ योर अटेंशन टू द हीनियस क्राइम दैट इज रेप एंड मर्डर of a second year pgt in archigar medical college and hospital kolkata while she was in the duty hours imagine how threatening it is for the doctors to be specific and for the women as general this is really a horrific incident and we must protest against it now you are having time i haven't shared anything before uh, you need pg exam also so that you are focused but now it's time to protest and to reclaim the safety of women and now i am making this video because there is a positive news that the investigation has been handed to cbi which was one of our demands so you can see the trending that archikar incident and nirbhaya 2 okay nirbhaya 2 it is trending on twitter let's now dive into the topic so i had done a poll and you can see about uh, 2.1k votes in the evening shift and 1.3k votes in the morning shift so among 2.3 lakh applicants you can see about 2% of the vote share so this is going in the right direction only and it is a representative now you can see in the maximum was voted for moderate to hard in the morning shift and the same for the evening shift but that doesn't show the picture okay now the graph shows the real picture i have plotted this line diagram and this shows the real and actual picture that the morning shift was more of in the moderate to hard range with a peak in the moderate to hard but the evening shift was one step ahead that is in the moderate too hard to very hard range so it was more of a harder side and the morning shift was more of a moderate to hard side now what means tough what is the definition of toughness it depends on the difficulty level which was more in the evening shift it depends on the time crunch both had long stem questions and after set 1 only evening shift had all the long stem questions which made it more difficult and there is also a mental fatigue that occurs in the later half of the day and so the evening shift ones are more prone to face it so these points go against the evening shift and it makes evening shift a bit difficult uh, but don't worry because there should be normalization and there will be normalization according to percentile or according to marks so overall analysis if i do for this paper this paper was lengthy with very long stems the question stems were very long you were having difficulty in finding the buzzwords or the pointers that point to the diagnosis there were pointers but it was difficult to snatch them and you were seeing the recall videos that are having only the pointers which make them seem very easy in the recall videos but th those were not actually easy when you are giving a set based exam with that time crunch with that pressure and all the buzzwords were mingled in the large question stem uh, previously the question stem i gave in neat pg 2023 it was hardly of 2 to 3 lines maximum some were one liners also some sets were easy and some were easy means uh, that of neat pg standard and some were tough and lengthy makes it more difficult because this was a set based as previously this was again a holistic approach as i said always that neat pg is a holistic exam it doesn't focus on certain topics only it focuses more it focuses more on a holistic approach that is it schemes through all of the topic and i said that it is a superficial exam but this time i was wrong 
and the NEET PG question pattern has totally changed. It has become in depth in some topics. It has asked in much depth, right? Von Willebrand's disease. Okay, the types were asked. I never studied them. In main notes, it was there once I studied, by I, but I never remembered them. Okay, so it has gone into some depth. Few were conceptual questions, and this is same as before. IBQs were more this time it was about 50 questions in every shift but in my time it was about 30 questions so IBQs have increased and multi-layered questions have increased like there are multiple layers if you crack the diagnosis you have to go what is the next investigation and all and IBQs were more of unconventional, I would say. Many unconventional images were given, not the conventional images that the coaching institute like uh, DAMS revise on the DVD or five sessions of the DBMCI. Those were more of unconventional questions. Okay. Now, how would normalization happen? Because we have seen that there is wide range of disparity between the morning shift and the evening shift so i according to me if you ask i think percentile based normalization is a pretty easy one and they might follow this this is just the speculation so percentile formula is that the total number of students minus the rank the individual got by the total number of students so in both the shifts there were 1.14 lakh applicants but how many candidates sat on the exam that is the important determining factor that will be the number of students okay so it completely depends on which shift has more number of student i take shift number one to have 1.14 lakh candidates and shift two to have 1.13 lakh candidates those who have appeared okay this could be reversed also this is just an example so in shift one according to the marks if someone gets rank one then his percentile will be more than that of rank one of ship two because as you can see that the total number of candidates is lesser so you can calculate it easily like if there are i give another example thousand students and one has got rank one so his percentile will become 99.1 and if there are 100 and one has got rank 1, so his percentile becomes 99. So 99.9 .9 is greater than 99. So if there are more number of candidates in that sitting, then his percentile is going to be better than the rank 1 of the lesser number of candidates. So this is simple maths. If the shift 1 has 1.14, lakh and shift 2 has 1.13 lakh so the rank 1 of shift 1 will get AIR 1 and the rank 1 of shift 2 will get AIR 2 and the rank 2 of shift 1 will get AIR 3 and the rank 2 of shift 2 will get AIR 4 like this this is going to happen if it is percentile based and if it is marks based then there are many difficult calculations that would come up and um, that was discussed by Dr. Rishabh Jain. Sir, uh, you can watch that video if you want, uh, but it is really very much complicated and percentile based is relatively simple, I would say. This is not what you deserved actually, but the normalization will do justice. Okay, it will do justice. Cut off. You can watch the recall videos on estimated marks and know your mistakes okay know your mistakes and calculate your estimated marks but if it is marks based normalization then your marks can change also okay and if it is percentile based and the marks remains the same then cutoff should definitely reduce because this was a very difficult question paper and the neat pg pattern has completely changed so this is going to cause a reduction in the cutoff. I am sorry for my words uh, that before the need PG, according to the predictions that how cutoff increased, I said that the cutoff would increase, but it was a mistake of me only. Uh, but after the exam, 
as I can estimate that uh, the cutoff should reduce actually it is just a speculation but I think from the responses I got the cutoff should reduce and now as need PG is over you can go for a vacation and all but always remember that how much protest you can do for her justice try to do it okay now coming to the advice for NEET PG, not 2024, 2025 onwards or 2026. For the next year NEET PG, um, the advice is that NEET PG is becoming the next. As it was explained in next that there would be long stem questions and the PYQs repeats would be reduced. So this is just the next pattern only my guys. And it is focusing on more depth of learning. It is important that you focus on your main notes and revision notes are just meant for the last three months of preparation. I also did the same thing. I gave the first reading from the main notes and subsequent readings from the revision notes. But you should give now at least two readings from the main notes. After that, switch on to the revision notes, a holistic revision notes. Just studying BTR is not sufficient. This exam has proven that just BTR is not sufficient. Your main notes are very, very important. Okay. And important thing is that PYQ do hold significance still now because there were, uh, I am giving example, there were direct repeats from NEET PG 2023. Sorry, this is a mistake. It was NEET PG 2023. Direct repeats like the Carboprost and the Limbal Dharma image was given. And in the previous year questions, you should most mainly focus on the PYTs, okay, PYTs and practice five years of NEET PG INI set because many questions were from INI set also asked this year. Dr. Aditya Gupta also highlighted that many questions were asked from the INI set and three years of FMG. These things you should do. Focus on conceptual learning. Okay, don't focus on rot learning, but you can use the tips and tricks to memorize things better. Okay, you can always use the tips and tricks to memorize things. Strengthen your creative mind and the power of association as unconventional images are being asked nowadays. As you can see from this year Neat PG, unconventional images are given like that of aortic dissection or is it secular aneurysm, uh, MRI, uh, some prosthetic prosthesis is given in the sacral promontory uh, images of mastectomy, many unconventional images which our coaching institute doesn't teach much. So you have to focus on the association with your learning, the hints you are getting in that question. So you have to apply your creative mind and your association power for the unconventional images that are being asked and the last thing I would like to say that master the art of ruling out options okay you can see in the end of the video also how to rule out options and I have a series on this to watch them because ruling out option only helps to secure a good rank okay you know only 120 questions but if you target for 170 corrects or 160 plus corrects 40 to 50 you have to mark by ruling out options so how to rule out options properly go watch the video at the end of this video okay and again i want to highlight the fact that this time it is covered in the international news media also i really didn't want it that our community should be highlighted in the international media in this aspect but it's of utter shame and if you could protest anyway by explaining your family, your friends to post on Twitter and you also post on Twitter and do actively take part in the protest. Okay, when you post on Twitter, give the hashtag of Nirvaya2 and give the hashtag of Kolkata Horror and do everything possible. We are also doing everything possible so that our Didi, our senior, Let's just take care. Bye-bye. And we want justice.